Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Instant Classic 8 here. Here to bring you my predictions preview of tomorrow night's Survivor Series. Um, before I start, I do want to plug this DVD right here John Cena My Life. It's a pretty good DVD. Um, you know, nice. Basically, I got it for the interviews. I really want to hear what people had to say. It was mostly like Cena's friends and his father, but they did do like wrestlers like Edge and Mick Foley and Taz and Vince McMahon and some other people. But it's a good, you know, it's a good watch. Check it out. It's twenty bucks from wherever you buy DVDs from. Anyway, let's just get this uh, Survivor Series predictions over with. Let's start with the World Tag Team Championship match: Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch versus Hardcore Holly and Cody Rhodes. This match has absolutely no meaning to it, but, you know, it could be a good match. Um, Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch, they are good in the ring. I'm not big fans of them, but they are, they're decent in the ring. I am, with, um, you know, I kind of dig um, Cody Rhodes all right. You know, he's, he's an all right guy. I, I'm pretty sure he's going to be big. Um, you know, he's going to be big. I'm not going to say big. He's going to be decent in the WWE. You got Hardcore Holly, who's pretty much his mentor. You know, can't go wrong with that. Um, I'm going to go on a limb and say Hardcore Holly and Cody Rhodes are going to win this match. Like I said, it really doesn't matter, but we'll see. Ten Diva Tag Team Match. I'm not going to name all the Divas. It's just all of them. Excuse me. All of them that are in the WWE, except for that one girl who was never around. Um... You basically got the Hill team versus the Face team, like any Survivor Series match. Um, I'm gonna go with the Face team just because they got uh, Kelly Kelly on there and everyone loves her. We got the Triple Threat match for the ECW Championship. The ECW Champion CM Punk defends against the tag, the WWE Tag Team Champions John Morrison and The Miz. I'm hoping this match is good. Uh, the Miz sort of surprised me at Survivor, that's Survivor Series, Cyber Sunday with his match against CM Punk. And we know that CM Punk and John Morrison can have a good match. So hopefully this one is better. You know, hopefully it's better. It should be a good match. I do like to see how they'll play this out since Morrison and Miz are the tag team champions. I would love to see how they play this match out. Um, I'm going to say CM Punk retains. I think Morrison will get the title back soon, but I don't think right now. You know, just because the way they won those titles on SmackDown, I just say CM Punk retains. Um, Hornswoggle versus the Great Colleague. Who cares? Um, it's strictly for entertainment. That's the only reason why. They're going to make Colleague look stupid, and who really cares? Hornswoggle's going to win. Um, you have the traditional 5-on-5 five five Survivor Series match. Team Triple H versus Triple H, Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, Rey Mysterio, and Kane versus Team Umaga, which is Umaga, Kennedy, MVP, Finley, and Big Daddy V. Uh, even though I want to see the Hills win because I'm a huge fan of MVP and Kennedy, I'm pretty sure that the Faces are going to win uh, with Triple H being the lasting uh, competitor. Probably Triple H and... Hopefully it's not Triple H and Umaga. Hopefully it's like Triple H and... MVP, Triple H and Finley, Triple H and Kennedy, you know, just don't have those two big guys in the ring at the same time. But like I said, Team Triple H probably is, gonna, is probably going to win the match. Hell in a Cell for the World Heavyweight Championship, Batista versus The Undertaker. Now, I'm hoping this is going to be a good match. It should be a good match. Uh, honestly, I do want to see, of course, I mean, look at the title on my freaking... Um, main page. I'm a Batista hater. I just don't like the guy. I want him to see to see him get rid of that title. He shouldn't have it. Give it to the Undertaker. But uh I'm gonna say that this is my prediction, okay? The Undertaker wins the match, wins the championship, and then out comes Edge to attack I'm going to say attack the Undertaker. At first, I was going to have Batista keeping the title with Edge coming in. And I'm not going to say helping him, but attacking the Undertaker. But I'm going to say Undertaker wins the Hell in the Cell, wins the championship, and then Edge, rated our superstar, comes in and attacks Undertaker. This pay per view is just all out of whack. I really don't know what I'm talking about. But, like I said, whatever. Here we go. Last match WWE Championship match Shawn Michaels versus Randy Orton. Of course. Everyone knows HBK can't use Sweet Chin music, and Randy Orton cannot get himself intentionally disqualified, or he will lose the title if 
Shawn Michaels used Sweet Chin Music, then you will lose the match and won't get a uh, WWE Championship match as long as Orton is the champion. It's kind of like the whole Batista Edge thing back at uh, Vengeance, but, you know, it's a little bit different. Um, hopefully this is a good match. Their match at uh, Cyber Sunday wasn't all that bad. Hopefully this one is better. Um, it's a given. You're going to see the uh, sharpshooter. There's no way that you won't see the sharpshooter. It's going to happen. Um, and if they do let Randy Orton lose that title to HBK, I will be upset. Even though I'm a huge mark for HBK, I will be upset if Randy Orton wins that championship. So I want to say that Orton retains... I don't know. Retains... He's going to do the RKO and he's going to pin him. Overall, this pay-per-view could be good. I'm looking forward to the return of Edge. That's pretty much the main thing I want to look at in this pay-per-view. Uh, we got Jericho on Monday. That'll be good. So, like I said, WWE, just give us something that we don't expect. Just make this pay-per-view good. That's the classic and I'm out.